Welcome to Working with Graphics in Presentations. Lotus Symphony Presentations includes more graphics tools beyond what was shown in the Adding Graphics video demonstration, which showed features common to all three productivity tools. Let's say you want to create a visual presentation that included animations and more graphics to captivate your audience. Lotus Symphony Presentations allows you to create more complex graphics using layers. You need to be in Page View to work with graphic layers, so click View, Page, Page View. To add a new layer, click Edit, Layer, Insert. Type a name for the layer in the name box to give your layer a title. In the Properties area, Set the options for your layer if you choose to have it visible, printable, and or locked. Click OK. The new layer automatically becomes the active layer. To change the properties layer, select the tab of the layer and click Edit, Layer, Modify. If you wanted a cleaner workspace, you can hide a layer. Click the Name tab of the layer and then click Edit, Layer, Modify. In the Properties section, clear the visible checkbox. Also, you can select the Lock checkbox to lock a layer if you want to ensure that the objects on that layer are not accidentally deleted, moved, or edited. This is particularly useful when multiple people need to edit the same presentation. Click OK. If you want to move some graphics around, moving objects to a different layer is just as easy. Select the Name tab of the layer containing the object you want to move. Right-click the object and select Cut. Select the Name tab of the new layer. Right-click on the slide and select Paste. You can verify that the object is on the new layer by making the new layer invisible. Click the Name tab of the layer and then click Edit, Layer, Modify. Uncheck the Visible checkbox and click OK. The objects on that layer no longer display on the slide. Let's say you want to change the colors in an image of a flower. You can customize graphical objects in Lotus Symphony presentations by creating vector graphics from a bitmap graphic. Click Create graphic from file. In the plant folder, select flower2.wmf. Click OK and the bitmap graphic displays on the page. Select the bitmap graphic that you want to convert. Right-click the object and then choose Convert to Polygon. The options display in the Shape Properties sidebar on the right. In the Area section, select Gradient in the Fill drop-down box. Select a gradient or click More Shape Properties to customize the graphic further and click OK. You will see the results immediately. You can also convert text characters into curves that you can edit and resize as you would any drawing object. To convert text into a drawing object, create a text box. Click Create text box and type text. Select the text box you want to convert, then right-click the text object and click Convert to Curve. Now select the text object and click the Edit Points icon on the Bezier toolbar. Your points on the text object will turn to blue. You can now see all the Bezier points of the object. On the Bezier toolbar, you can find various icons for editing, inserting, and deleting points. Click the Delete Bezier icon, then select a blue point to delete. To add a point, click the Insert Bezier icon, then select an edge of the text object. You can also apply preset animation effects to graphical objects on your page. These are the same effects that you can use to animate page transitions. Let's say that you want your presentation to be more lively. 
and you want to add some simple animations to the drawing objects on the page. You have a few boxes on one page that are stationary and you want to animate them. Select the object you want to animate, right click the object, and click Animation Effects. Select a category from the Effects list or click New to customize your own effect. In the Animation Effects window, you can select the type, effect, amount, and speed you want. To customize even further, click the Options tab. Here you have Begin Effect, Delay, Repeat, and After Effect options. You have control over how long or short you want the effect to last. When finished selecting options, click Preview, Play to see the effect, and when you are satisfied with the animation, click OK. The Effects list automatically saves the animation for that object you have created, so you can create more animation effects or edit or remove the effects in the list. When finished, click Done. This concludes the Working with Graphics in Presentations demonstration.